and I dispatched him like you know without I don't think I did a I didn't I don't think I died you know like having to get up and do it again I, I, I the trick is do not stand away from him the trick is just you know stay under that guy no matter what no matter what just stick to him and stay under him and then climb on him and start beating his soft spot and you're good now one thing I did not do um, oh there was another shrine that I did now I think it may or may not be available to me here There's a goat. Be careful. <laughs> That's all I need is for a goat to just like butt me off the top of this mountain. I'm not gonna let you do that. Uh, no, I am not going to let you come charging after me again. Uh uh. And there's our little Karak. Oh yeah, I came to the top of this thing. There was a rock, and I picked it up, and he was underneath, <laughs> which is kind of a surprise. It was cute, and he also gave me a a little nut there. Okay, so then I stayed on this side. I really didn't go down into the ravine down there. There is a river, from the looks of it, or a road that goes through it. And I never went through, I mean, I never physically went down there and walked through it. So I haven't been through that pass on foot. I've been climbing these things and then flying, you know, over and um, looking, judging by the wind over here, I don't know that I want to um, jump off of anything for fear that it might drift me to a place where I don't want to go. Yet. I noticed that, you know, as dark as it gets at night, it never gets totally dark. And boy, do the days pass quickly here. I love these. I mean, I love the change in, in the weather and the change in the days. But notice how this thing just goes all the way around you. It's almost like... Whoa, jeez. I'm missing my opportunities for bug catching here. look almost metallic so as I understand it though I don't there's no real reason for me to do it right now is that uh, if you use the stasis on these puppies that's not what I want I want the stasis hello I want this guy so theoretically I can target this and I can stop time and I can just shoot stuff off the mountainside and and why would I want to do that now? Uh-oh. Who's here? It's nighttime. Oh, these guys again. following after me, I'll just detonate it. Okay. So what I did is I jumped off the edge because if you look down below, put it away. Um, you go down here and right there, see? A shrine. And right all across the way is the stable with the horse's head there on it. So, what I'll think I'll do, <coughs> excuse me, huh? is just kind of huh? 
I'm gonna have to get used to doing that. More backwards music. How far down did I get? <laughs> A link can. And on this one, see all the thorns that are surrounding it? So I went through this one, but the save will let me play this one again. Boom. Okay. I was really good in Skyward Sword with the sailcloth, so... <laughs> okay, where's the platform, boys and girls? Oh, I need to put the thing on the sheet so you can sleep. In there. So, the theory is that this may be the only way to approach this uh, Sheikah Shrine is from above. Unless you have something that can break the thorns. I never tried it, because I just landed on it. And on this one... Um, that they say here Dahamar and you have the, the water guides and of course that's your big clue which means that you're going to be playing around with not your stasis but your cryonis and one of the nifty things I found out here, which was, and I really didn't, uh, well, see, the first one I put was here. And you do that. But this is too far, right? So, and this is a sheer drop all the way down. And I fell a couple of times doing this. Um, but, uh, it really wasn't too terribly bad. So what you do is I found out you do horizontal things and it's like, oh my goodness, you can do it horizontally. And um, and then you do the same thing. Oops, you do the same thing here. But you have to be a little bit... You have to be careful. And that gets you up there. So you, you know, you, you clear, create a stair step. Now on this one you have to study it. They give you... Uh... Oh, the other thing too, wasn't there a... Yeah, and so up here is a, um, a chest. And of course to get to that one, the same thing applies. And of course you can only have three of these at a time, which is like a real bummer. So um, you go ahead and... Um, now, will one to get destroyed if I just automatically put this here? And then... No, just do it. One thing I didn't do... Alright, so I can do this, and I can climb up there, and then I can climb up there, and I can do that. And I got 50 rupees. Yeah, the purple rupee. I remember that. Okay, so now we go here. And... I was thinking suspicion I'm going to be using this sailcloth or this uh, paraglider pretty often. Okay, so I came up here and I studied this for a little bit. And um, so you have this thing. Now, my first instinct was to use the, the stasis, you know, and I did. And the stasis, all these tools have quite a range. You can apply from this distance, you can apply the stasis. 
but basically there's nothing I can do to hit it or do anything else with it and climbing up there with those balls is not a good idea because you're gonna get knocked off right so I stayed here and studied it and so I said okay it's the cryonis obviously is gonna be the tool of use and the question is where do you stick that thing I mean, where do you where do you create your ice blocks so I jumped off the edge like so and um, did the following. I came up here, and this takes a little bit of doing, so you've got to position these ice blocks in such a way that... So you want to get an ice block to stop the ball from going over the edge like it is right now on that side, and actually to come down on this other side towards you, which means you gotta have to create a block for it of some sort. So, you do something like this, and you have to, pos and this positioning is really a little bit dicey, because if you don't put it just right, oh god, this thing is so, can I bring it down just a tad more, guys, come on, yeah, like right there, and it will create that, and then the things will hit it, boom, and then come down. But then see, it kind of goes that way. So you got to keep it from tilting down. So you do it again, right? And you do what seems logical. You you, you stick it there. And only be careful with Link, because I have a tendency to use the other controllers, and I, he fell off the edge because I was inching him <laughs> in the wrong direction. Okay, so something like that. But I noticed that it still went down, see? It wasn't clearing, so I have to bring it in a little bit more. So now I've got to position this other one, like, right about here. And then you got to be really careful because you do not want to destroy... Oh! What happened there? Well, that didn't happen before. Let's try that again. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Okay, so, um... Okay, so now you have that there holding it up, but it's not quite making it and actually that isn't good enough That's it. That's the one. Well, I had a little bit more play in it than that, but the next one is um, give it a little bit more flatness here so that it actually it actually pops up a little bit when it comes rolling down and lands there. 
boom. <laughs> Sorry about that. And it goes in there, and then, you know, you do this. And you get your orb. I really feel sorry for these guys. You know, they're sitting there waiting for you for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> 